All right, so let's do a quick YouTube video on how to format a table in Microsoft Word. A lot of you have tables that look like this that you created using the table function. I personally am not a fan of the table function. It's hard to get things to line up nicely or to do true APA formatting, etc. So let's go ahead and get it out of the table function. To do that, we're going to pop over to Layout and go to Convert to Text. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let it be on tabs. Now we've got this. All right, I agree. That looks even worse. I want to do one other thing so we have enough room for all of this information because we have a lot of things here. I'm going to go to Page Layout and I'm going to go to Orientation. I'm going to change that to Landscape. All right, so it's still not looking beautiful. The first thing, next thing I'm going to do is ignore that top line that has our uh, variable or column labels in it. I'm just going to ignore that for right now. I'm going to highlight everything else. And now I'm going to start adding in some tabs. Um, and for right now I'm just going to use the normal tab. Go ahead and it should default to a left justified tab, just as I have over there in the corner. And if you don't have your ruler showing, you can go to View and click on ruler. My ruler is always showing because I love the ruler function. So the first thing I want to do is create a tab for where treatment type is going to start. Now it needs to start later than any of the study names. Our longest study name appears to be this one that ends in 2008. So I need that first tab to be after that point. So we'll stick it there. That's pulled over all of the treatment types so that none of them are hanging out around the study names. And then let's just go ahead and throw in a few more tabs. We're having some problems with this variable, this treatment type, extended release XR Venla vaccine. It's such a long name. Let's go ahead and abbreviate that. Extended release can be abbreviated by XR. That's how it's done. And we can go ahead and put in a, um, a note section at the bottom of this table that says, you know, CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy, BT is behavioral therapy, XR is extended release. So we'll go ahead and put that in at the bottom. That's gotten rid of that for us. Let's highlight everything again so we're making the same changes to everything. We're still having a bit of problems here with that one, so we need to move this one over. Now I've put that tab in. All I have to do is grab it and scooch it over a bit so that it's not hanging out by that uh, behavioral therapy abbreviation anymore. And we have our outcome measure, we have our end size, we have our comparison group, and way over here we have our effect size. Now another thing I want to do, I noticed that target symptom anxiety is a constant. If it's constant all the way through, it doesn't need to be in the table. So let's go ahead and get rid of anxiety. We can pop over to replace and I can tell it I want to go to special and I want to put in tab character. So I want to get rid of the tab, anxiety tab, and just replace it with a single tab. So if I click on tab character and then type in the word anxiety, click tab character again, it's going to look like that. I'm going to replace it with a tab character. I'm going to go ahead and hit replace all and all of those disappeared. You could also just go in and backspace over all of them, but if you have a big table that can take a while. So now we're starting to get somewhere. This is looking better. We still have a couple of problems. First of all, let's get rid of one of those extra tabs. Now we can just pull these back around. So now that end size is way out there by itself. So let's pull him over a bit. Let's pull over this comparison group a little ways. And we've got our effect size. Now the only thing I'm not liking is that some of these seem to have two effect sizes. So let's take uh, thermotherapy and relaxing room therapy. Oh, that only has one. Let's take this one, the latter et al. study, for example. We have two different effect sizes for that. I'm assuming one is comparing the treatment type to um, this comparison group, and the other one is to placebo. So let's go ahead and knock placebo down onto a second line. We'll just tab over. It's still part of that same study. This, I think, is actually the effect size that goes with our row before that. And this one goes with placebo. And I can just go ahead and tab those over. Get rid of that dash line. Now to make sure that